Hello guys, this is Mrs. Green. Again, just checking on you. Just want to send a video so you don't forget about me. I hope you're settling into your new routine. I can tell you that my favorite part about not having to go to school to learn is that I don't have to wake up super early. I don't have to rush uh, to get ready in the morning. And I can really stay in my PJs all day, no, all day long if I need to. However, I don't recommend that. It's better to wake up, change your clothes, have breakfast, and start your routine. Uh, it is also a little hard. It can get complicated because, as you know, I have three kids. I have a boy that's in second grade, and I have a boy that's in kindergarten. And I also have a baby girl, which is really, she's not a baby anymore. She's 18 months now, but she still wants me all the time. So it gets hard when I'm trying to help my sons complete their work. But we just do our best. And I think we're trying to figure out that during nap times is the best way for us to complete our work and then have little breaks in between. And a good way to take a break is doing some of your special work, just like you did at school on your regular day. You would do your morning time and then you would go to STEAM or you would go to PE or you would go to Spanish. But try to incorporate that into your um, into your day, okay? Um, another thing I want to talk to you about is that I sent a video to your teachers, and they added that on your Google Classroom or your CISO app, and hopefully you're able to see that. Also, I shared some videos with your parents in the newsletter. And some of them talk about social distancing, and that might help you understand what it means, all this that we're doing. Let them know that maybe you want to watch it or ask your parents if you can watch it. And remember, social distancing is different from isolation. Isolation means we don't get to see anybody. We don't get to talk to anybody. We're just in our house. We can't do anything. Now, distancing, we still are able to FaceTime with our friends and family that are far away. We're able to go outside, enjoy the pretty weather, send emails, and do all that. So don't forget to stay connected with your friends and family and teachers, just like you're doing, okay? It's very, very good for your health. And talking about letters and emails, I also shared some um, addresses that we can mail a letter or a drawing to some people that are in nursing homes. Nursing homes are the places where older people um, stay and they're also having to practice social distancing so they can't have visitors and they cannot go out anywhere. So if they receive a letter from you, I bet that will really brighten their day. So one of the places is right there near our um, uh, school and is the Eastern Shore Rehab and Health Center. So it's rather in Daphne, and the other one is in Mobile. Now, we won't know who we're writing the letter to, but the people that work at those places will be able to give that letter to the person that really needs a little cheering up. So if you are able to do that, ask your parent uh, for the address that's in the newsletter. Um, now, now for the section of, uh, birthday shout outs. I will put my birthday hat that I found. So this past week we had several birthdays, seven I think. So the first one was Annie Cooper and Dean Coleman from the monkey class. And then Billy Mello had a birthday too from the dolphin class. Skylar from kindergarten in Miss Etheridge's class had a birthday as well. And we had Julia and Heather having a birthday in first grade. And finally, Castle had a birthday. So happy birthday to all of you. Hope you had a great time. Now we'll take this off since we're over. And finally, second graders. I added a little class in your uh, Google Classroom. So check that out. And that will be a great way to communicate with me. So I will see you soon. Bye.